so I try to figure it out and uh, there's not that many aggressive people like that um, I mean they're about it but they're not aggressive just for no reason so I was trying to figure it out because out here in South Carolina I guess East Coast maybe because I've seen a few different states in the East Coast where it's like that but um, they're aggressive for no reason like at all or just like look at you like they're angry as shit like their whole world is fucking pissed off because you're alive and um i was trying to figure it out the whole time i've been here and i think today i finally figured it out they say that the person that is trying to look the meanest or scariest or most angriest is always the most scariest and you know what that is making a lot of sense (laughs) <laughs> with this situation because I mean I watched a couple different situations one where um, one dude he was uh, one the gas pump I was at and he threw a big old temper tantrum and fucking got everybody riled up at the gas station and shit and he like went around and basically got everybody involved in the situation and made a big ass scene and then tried to get aggressive and shit so I had to call the police. I don't like calling police, but I had to call the police because if I would have did something to them, there's so many witnesses right there. And not only that, I'm trying to be a peaceful person, but at the same time, I felt like I was being set up, you know what I mean? And I was being set up because he was being the most loud and aggressive person. He was the scariest person there because when the cops showed up, he started shaking and he tried to grab a scar and fucking stuttering and shit. And cops were just as scared as him, though. I mean, fucking cops out here are scary-ass fucking little cops. I don't know. They're scary as hell. But, yeah, I figured it out finally. <laughs> I finally figured it out. I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, usually, the most aggressive person is the most scared. Like, you notice that when someone knows martial arts or, you know... Um, any kind of fighting technique, they, they're not really scared, they're not really worried. Like, they don't act, uh, they don't act all scared and stuff, and like, they don't act all aggressive all the time. Like, I mean, maybe in UFC to pump it up a little bit, but in real life, they're pretty respectful. UFC people are pretty respectful, and like, one on one, they're down to earth, you know what I mean? Like, Mike Tyson is one of the most motherfucking sensible, most intelligent human beings in the world, and like, he's the most aggressive. Or, well not most aggressive but he says it himself he was scared that's why he was aggressive but nowadays he's not aggressive no more and like he's still the most bad bad person out there he knock you out real quick but like I mean just like Mike Tyson said most of the loud and aggressive person is the scaredest Mike Tyson said it himself I can't fucking <laughs> I can't say nothing else about it I finally figured it out South Carolina people when they're rude and disrespectful or East Coast people when they're rude and disrespectful or they're loud and disrespectful or whatever like everybody whoever you know what I mean like it's cause they're scared that's it (laughs) that's all it can be there is no other reason for it we are all human we are not bulletproof I, I mean, there's no reason to be aggressive. We all are trying to do the same thing in this world, and that's survive. I thought I'd just share that with you guys. <laughs>